We always love doing this. It's time to do some live readings with our studio audience. Who would like a reading? Who would like a, you're closest, you come on down. Come Whoa. right here, there we go. What's, what's your name? Molly. Molly. Maria, what are we What's what your we? birthday? February 23rd. Okay, so she's a Pisces. Ooh. And Pisces are some of the most sympathetic types of people. In the zone. You'll do anything for anybody. They do whine a little bit, but oh. they are very good people. It's all right, I do too. It's fine. <laughs> so this year is going to be very lucky for you with your work. Anything you want to do career-wise, Jupiter is going to be at the top of your astrology chart. This is the time to go for it in 2019. The only thing is make sure that you ask for more money. As a Pisces, sometimes you're a little shy about that. Oh. But I would say, hey, listen, I'm worth it. Go for it. Okay. But I'm expecting you to do really well. Thank and then a man you. in your life also has a really good present for you this oh. year. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. Email us about that Thank one when that happens. Who else would like a reading? You come, oh, you come here first. Come on down. I'll move my way up. There we go. What's your name? Jim. Jane. Jane. What's, What's your birthday? Uh, June 2nd. Oh, she, no, she's a Gemini. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so, oh, yeah, so you may have some trouble shopping this month a little bit. Should I buy this? Should I buy that? Yeah. You know, but Geminis are a lot of fun, and you're going to have a very, very long life. But I have a lot of good news for you for 2019. Oh, you're going to be in the best year for love. This is your oh. soulmate year. People are going to be nice to you. Do you oh. remember all the challenges you had like in 2015, 16, and 17 with people? You had yeah. some losses. Mm -hmm. You had some disappointments with people. That's mm -hmm. behind you. Now you're being rewarded. Good karma is coming back. Lots of love and happiness. Ooh, wow. wow. Love you. Wow. <laughs> yes. I'm going to hang out with you oh. for the next few years. Thank yes. You. Thank, Thank you, sweetie. You. Okay, you come on down. Come on down. With the fashionable boots, love them. Oh. Okay, what's your name? Gina. Gina, what's your birthday? April 22nd. April. Okay, so you're right on the cusp. And um, you are gonna, add, you all probably wanna know about money because you're a Taurus. And this is the year that you can, <laughs> you can pay debt down. And are you married? Yes. Because he's gonna make more money. Be extra nice to him this year, this new year. <laughs> he's gonna make more money. I do see debt being paid down. And I also see you getting some type of a big loan or something that you're working on or you're doing that you're gonna wanna put out for. You're getting the funding to do it. And I also want to say that there's two gifts that you're going to get this year. One is, I can't even say it on the air, one is very private. And it might be something that happens around New Year's. And then the, look, she's ears, already Andrew. blushing. She's already blushing. And then the other one is something that you've been wanting for the last three or four years and, and have never gotten it under the tree. You're going to get it this year. Wow. Will you? Will you please email us uh, on New Year's Eve and tell us how everything went? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Come on down. Come on down. Watch your steps. Watch your steps. There we go. What's your name? Kate. And what's your birthday? July 13th. Oh, she's a cancer like me. We can cry together. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So cancers, they're going to have a lot of luck this year um, with your health, with your work. It doesn't sound really, really fun, does it? I don't it? have a job right now, so that Okay. Be okay, good. <laughs> and also, what I would tell you is if you don't have a job right now, think about owning your own business. There are more self-made millionaires born under the sign of cancer than any other sign. Oh, you know, that. yeah, have you thought about that at all? Yeah. Because you, I, think, I don't think you're going to find the perfect job because you're not supposed to be working for somebody else. You're supposed to be doing your own thing. You're good at bossing people around, but you do it in a nice way. <laughs> you know, you do it in a nurturing Type way. A. Are you bossy? Mm -hmm. Just Let's, a, little. a little bit, okay. My yeah. kids would say yes. Yeah. So think about opening up your own business next year because you're going to have a lot of support. Okay. There we go. Thank you so much. I want to go to this side. Come on down. Watch your steps. Watch your steps. I want to go to this side. There we yep. go. What's your name? Deborah. Deborah, and your birthday? February 9th. February Okay, 9th. so we have an Aquarius. Now, Aquarius's lucky year is about 2021, but this year's not going to be bad. This year, it's going to be about who you know that's going to help you get ahead. Lots of friends, and you also have either a secret Santa or friends a Friends up there. The yes, friends just nodded right there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she does. Yeah. Either a secret Santa or a secret admirer. Oh. So, you want the Santa or the admirer? I want the Santa, yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and I, uh, there's also a very big trip in your future, too. And you may take a couple of these yeah. ladies with you because yeah. uh, it looks like it's a girls' weekend away. I don't know if it's Vegas or a cruise, but you're going somewhere where one of these ladies, ladies back I'm here coming with, FYI, likes to yeah. drink, likes to get a little tipsy, oh, and she is going to be a ball. Okay. Turtleneck! It's the turtleneck right there! <laughs> What a wonderful travel, yeah. Yeah, yeah. thank you, sweetheart, thank you. thank you. Let's do this. Let's pull in a member of our own family. Uh, let's get Shannon over here to see how you feel about Shannon. Shannon, okay. right here. Now, now Shannon's an Aries, right? Oh, yeah. Yes. She can be bossy, too. Very. <laughs> but she's also one of the most intelligent people you'll ever know, and she'll tell you she is. 
But yeah. she really is very, very smart. <laughs> she can organize things and multitask. She gets she gets slow with uh, or she gets impatient with slow people. Very. That's the thing. It's come on, come on. And you drive like a bat out of hell, too. You a gotta little. be careful. Yeah. But this is gonna be a good year to get more recognition. And you have a boss or a supervisor or a manager that absolutely loves you and thinks you're it. And there could be a promotion within the next 18 months. Um Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really quick. <laughs> Maria, look deep into your soul before we wrap. How about love? What are you what are you finding for 2019 for Shannon? You you you've chosen not very wisely in the last couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. Okay. <laughs> you, 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 you just gotta change some patterns. You went through a big heartbreak heartbreak between 2009 and 2013. There was a big heartbreak. Yes. Um, this year will be better, but um, you stop trying to fix people. And save people. Okay. There we go. There we go. Give it up for Psychic Maria Shaw. Oh, I love that. You can meet her this Sunday at the Radisson Roseville Psychic Fair. It runs from 9 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon. Admission is $10. Go to MariaShaw.com for more information. We're going to be back to wrap up the show when we come back. Thank you so much.